I mean, I just remember that we were at a Starbucks. I went on my phone, like Twitter, and I saw like OHSA is having a press conference. The entire sports world pretty much on hold. The Winter Sports Championships, you're talking girls basketball, boys basketball, and wrestling have been postponed indefinitely. You know, we went back to the hotel and they told us like, you know, this is, we have to go back home and stuff. I can't even describe how we felt that day. I mean, it was such a shock at that point. It was just like heartache and loss that we didn't even get the opportunity to like play, win or lose or anything. To say honestly, until tournament started this year, I finally was able to like clear my mind and just say, new season starts now and it's time to get going. We might have had like two weeks off and then we went straight back into it. Individually, we just worked hard and we knew we couldn't get out of that shape we were in. I know like our team just kind of had that mindset as in like we're not going to give up, like we're not going to let this set us back, we're just going to keep working hard. We were in the gym, we went to tournaments in Indianapolis, we did anything we could to get better and coach helped us with that too. That really improved us and the speed of the game and stuff, so that's probably what got us here. This year we've been focused a lot on getting back to state and getting back to the position we were in. are probably the best defensive team and um, rebounding team. Our defense, talking, rebounding, just collectively as a group, like just how we play together. We've got Zoe and Kels, two great rebounders. I mean, people off the bench are rebounding guards or rebounding all the time. Just taking pride in our defense and getting stops. We come out and really we go get them. Like we literally attack, I guess, if you want to say. We trust each other and I trust everybody that goes on the floor that they are capable of making a play. When you kind of have that trust between players, I mean, it just makes it easy to play with them and it makes them fun to play with. As soon as you put that jersey on, there's just a level of confidence that you get to play with, knowing that we have coaches that are supporting us, our teammates are here for us, you know, we have a community all around us all the time. Every game this season during the tournament, we're like, let's go win this for coach. It's really important to us that not only we go win a state champ for our community and like our team, but we go win it for them. Seeing my dad coaching all these different teams and like seeing all the hard work that he put into those teams just like made me want to work hard at my sports that I played. We trust in him so much in everything he does. We look up to coach more than I think he thinks we do. I mean, especially me myself, like I look up to him so much. I just owe so much of my career and you know basketball to Coach and Cooch. The fact that this is their last year, I you know it's bittersweet because I don't want to be the last year. I want my sister to be coached by him for the rest of her life. He always is finding opportunities for us to get better too, like playing people that are better than us, like our schedules. Unbelievable this year. I mean, they have put an insane amount of time and effort into making us the players that we are and also the people that we are. I just think our bond that we have is just so special and we just have worked so hard and know each other so well. I mean, I've been playing with every girl or in my class since fifth grade. Even like out of basketball, we still hang out and we still talk a lot, and which is really fun. It's just been like a real honor to be able to play with my best friends. All five of us seniors have played varsity basketball for four years. And I'm sure that teams we play all year or all four years are probably like, oh my gosh, it's those girls again. It's winter go home at this point, so I feel like for us, there's no next year, there's no like, oh, we'll, we'll get them next year. In our mindset, there's no other option than to win. We have to win. You know, this is what we've worked for, and it's only right that we get to finish out the right way. I mean, I thought about it even before high school. That's literally what I've worked for my whole life. Just to show our community what we can do and just win state. And I just feel like whenever I walk out with Highland on my jersey that like we got this.